number two. So now we're gonna talk about how things are aging. Um, so that's Princess Charlie, the diva of all divas. You can see she's like really super concerned about me being in here. Um, so, dude, I need to like fix my plants. So, Charlie's Viv is bioactive. So, it has the working pond, which I see I need to put my water in. It has live plants. It has springtails. It has some fake plants. And it has isopods. So, there are live bugs. It's real dirt. It's real plants. There are some fake plants just because, like, I discovered that putting the plants inside the walls just did not work for us um and as you can see like right here charlie likes to climb so that was not working out so hot so this is, this is what it looks like behind the curtain so this is why for that other viv i did it very differently um so this is what the spray paint the liquitex looks like up close um, this is a layer of a couple different colors, but you see how like it's kind of like shiny on its own? I didn't put anything on top of that because I didn't feel like I needed to. And then this is what the, you know, I did a, I did a layer of spray paint and then I did the black silicone and then I mixed together a little bit of worm castings and the cocoa fiber, hoping that my plants would like stick. And that really did not work. Um, so that is my only live plant that's like left inside a flower pot. Everything else that's on the walls is like fake because it wasn't working. Oh, I lied. That big one back there in that corner, that one's real. Um, ah! I knew it. I knew as soon as I did that the misters would come on while I was making this video. So anyway, as you can see, Charlie has misters. That's fun and exciting. So this Viv has been operating since late June. Charlie moved in in July. Um, so as you can see, sometimes the expanding film does take a beating. So like you can see like right there, right above her head is where that piece of wood like gouged it. Um, as you can see, it's still going just fine. Um, I'm probably gonna rip out that back background right there for that thing you're looking at with that tape because I had taped two pieces of the foam together and put the background in after I built the box. Um, as you can see from the former video, I am doing it differently this time. So the side backgrounds will stay in because that's how I keep her from escaping the vents. But that back background is gonna come out. I don't know what I'm going to do instead. Uh, when that other Viv is done, Charlie is going to move into that one because uh, after I started this project, I actually rescued another snake that's even bigger than Charlie. So um, Charlie will move into the new one. I will repair this one and then the bigger snake will move into this Viv because this Viv is slightly bigger. Oh, look, there's a baby isopod. Can you see it? Ta-da, baby isopod. Isn't it cute? Okay. So, yeah. So this is how the background and the paint and everything look after being in a high humid environment for about six months. 